All right. So I'm going to do this one real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll get to the meat of this stuff in the next couple of days. So we've been estimating curves in a certain area. Let's say, let's just say it's from, let's just say from here to here or whatever, whatever our range is that we want our interval that we want to estimate it. So the first degree is usually a line. That's your tangent line. That's our estimation uh, point there. We did approximation and estimation in our first uh, calc class, calculus AB. So that's that first estimation piece of, and it's the first degree of the Taylor polynomial. And then the second degree polynomial, let's say, covers this dotted line. It's a little better. And then we get a third degree, which is this green line, and it gets a little better. So they start getting better and better and better as the farther you go out on the Taylor series. Well, they all, they're only good for so long. And so when we're going to talk about truncation errors or truncated errors, depending on what you look at, and there's some different uh, pieces we're going to work with, uh, Lagrange errors, uh, what we're talking about is what's the error right here? So this little purple line I have is the error of the third degree polynomial based from the, on the original f of x. And so basically what that really is is it ends up being, this error ends up being the next term in the series. So it's the next polynomial. So it's the one that's, so if this is the f to the third, then the error is going to be the rest of it. And it would just keep going, but we just assume that it's going to be f to the fourth, not f to the fourth, the fourth term of this Taylor polynomial or the fourth degree. So in a, in a quick nutshell, we'll get a little more deep detail. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about an error. We're talking about the error of a third degree polynomial. And then if we went to a fourth degree polynomial, it may be a little smaller and it gets farther and farther and farther and they get smaller and smaller and smaller. So the error is that idea of how far off is it just as we get past the third degree or we get past the fourth degree. So when it's something like this, here's our Taylor series. It's an estimate for this, this piece here. So we know that uh, A is equal to one and then uh, our R is our R is equal to x squared because it's a geometric series and we're going from negative one to one so if we look at the general formula we've got one and this will be x uh, x squared to the zero power which gives us one this is going to be x squared to the one x squared to the two so we're really looking at this idea that the general formula is x squared to the n power so if we look at that piece, and this is the third one, our truncation error is going to be the next term, which will be the fourth term. So this is going to be x to the eighth over 1 minus x squared. That would be our next piece there. Okay? So that's the kind of idea that we're that we're looking looking for or what we're dealing with and we'll get a little bit more in detailed with it but on 13 and 14 tonight number 13 and number 14 we're just dealing with the fact that we're we're tackling the truncation error that's on this next available term so it's always on the next available term and I will get like I said we're gonna get into a lot more detail on how we calculate it and do things like that. So 13 and 14, you're just coming up with what the truncation error is, and then we've got a formula we gotta deal with and some other pieces to it, and so then we're gonna get into the Taylor's theorem and some other pieces like that. And then the rest of the assignment is just getting some McLaren series, McLaren series uh, set up. So it's not real crazy, just know that we're looking for that, just that error right here. And then I'm gonna explain that in a little bit deeper detail. So that's our video for our truncation error, this first part of section 10.3.